G'day, welcome back. A long time ago, around 2010, a much younger version of myself was at a medical conference in Chicago and they had a Tesla Roadster on display. This was very new technology at the time and I was able to sit in the car for a minute and only dream of one day driving an electric car. Here we are only 12 years later and Elon Musk has turned Tesla into a multi-billion dollar company as well as launching his own original Roadster into space as a test payload for his rocket company SpaceX. And I own a Tesla Standard Range 2023 Model Y. And my friend Colin has brought his 2010 Tesla Roadster version 2.5 out to take me for a spin. We will do an acceleration test to see how his 2010 version 2.5 Roadster stacks up against the 2023 Tesla Model Y standard performance. So fasten your seatbelts, buckle in and join us for this adventure. How's the, um, how's the battery holding up after 10 um, years? Let's get, in let's the six years I've had it, it's dropped from 264 down to 258 in terms of standard range. Yeah. Um, it's got a longer range than that, but I've, I never bother charging it there because it's nearly gone. There we go. So, can you take me through the startup procedure? What oh, have we got here? That. So, <laughs> yeah, basically, turn it on. Yeah. Press the reverse button. It will now go in reverse. That's all. That, all I have to do. Well, that's extraordinary. I see yeah. it's got a classic handbrake. It does. I've never yeah. tried using it. Sure. <laughs> Look. And you got a reversing camera here. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Oh well, let's go. Yeah, it's very much the, the Lotus setup. All this bit of stuff here and all, all those bits are pretty much Lotus. This is all Lotus. Okay, yeah. Oh, I can't believe how quiet it is. Yeah, no, I'm not at all impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Good, eh? That's a nice looking car, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I really hope that GoPro stays. <laughs> stays there, yeah. You get a very real sense of being close to the ground. some acceleration. It does go. Yeah. And if you can tell me while you're driving, what's this little console screen down there? What is that? Um, that's basically all, all the information is um, press various buttons and see um, battery temperatures and all sorts of bits of things. Oh, okay. Um, right. To be honest, I haven't done it. I've had a bit of a play with it a couple of times. Yeah. Um, but basically it just tells me how much battery I've got left. Okay. Yeah, great. So, so what's a typical range uh, on a full charge of batteries, Colin? Um, the standard charge range is I'm getting about 260 kilometres. Yeah. Um, so when I bought it six years ago, I was getting about 264. So it's only gone down a little tiny bit in the six years I've had it. Yeah. Um, and it does have a longer range, which I've never actually used. I believe it gets around 360 kilometres. Right, so that's, that's when you go to a 100% charge. Yeah, 100% charge. Yeah. I think when they were brand new, the aim was 200 miles, which might have been 320, which it yeah. still be basically in that sort of range. Yeah, okay. This is, um, things did change, so the version one of the Tesla came out with a two speed gearbox. Oh, really? Um, and, uh, then they went to the version two, which is the um, the straight straight drive, no gears at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this mm -hmm. is a version two point five. Uh, I'm not totally sure what the difference is between the two or two point five. Just they got you know you know the Tesla might they're just constantly refining, you know, making things a little bit better. Yeah. So it's a little bit quicker than the earlier ones. Um, I think it's got a little bit longer range. The battery packs are basically the same. Yeah. They only made two and a half thousand of them originally. Uh, Gosh. They had a contract with Tesla, with Lotus, sorry, make to, to supply two and a half thousand gliders. At the end of that, um, Tesla had already decided to focus on the Model S. Yep. And I think by the end of this, so this is about the last one, I think this is 2012, and I think 2012 was the end of the run. Okay. Um, and I think my episodes had already produced the very first S's. This is a reasonably well sorted car. The very first ones that they had all sorts of reliable in their pockets. Yeah. Basically a prototype. Um, you'll notice we feel every single button because it is really a sports car. So <laughs> driving around. 
man trying to avoid the bumps wherever possible. <laughs> yeah, it's got stiff suspension. Yeah. Like we're, we're cornering now, and we're just yeah. not. There's no lean whatsoever. It's an absolute skateboard, as they call it. It's a Model Three. I don't know if you've ever seen it. Yeah. Um, the room was in my first Model S skateboard mm -hmm. in Denver. They had, um, this is before they were even making them, I think, they had just the wheels and the motor and the, and the actual battery pack flat. Oh, okay. Oh, just like a skateboard. Yeah, yeah. This thing isn't like that. It actually has a, a big solid brick of a battery it's just behind us. Oh, okay. So it's just like a cube. A big... 450 kilos. It sits there right behind the back seats. Wow, 450 kilos, that's a lot. Yeah, yeah. I think probably more yeah. wouldn't be heavier, but that's a much bigger car. Yeah, true, yeah. There was a um, Tesla store in Sydney um, a couple of years ago. I don't know if, this, if it still is or if it's moved. It was in Martin Place. And at one time they had a, um, a chassis there, just, right. just the bare chassis, just with the batteries and the motors and wheels on it. In terms of um, performance, the ice cars did. I, I wonder how companies, performance companies like Lamborghini, Ferrari, those sort of um, manufacturers, what's going to be their differentiator in a few years' time when all electric cars are going to be fast? Yeah. I mean, the, the uh, my Tesla 3 non-performance can probably take on a, a, a basic Porsche these days and, and clean it up. Yeah. Uh, and you sort of think, well, what's going to happen to those those manufacturers, how are they going to be better? They can make hyper cars, they can make super fast electric cars, but I think they'll start to lose their differentiation. Yeah, I think the Ferrari is always going to be a work of art. They're still beautiful cars. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. That's, so it's really styling, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, they I, also have very sophisticated handling. You know, you don't notice it just driving around normally, but right. you push them a little bit more and you can just feel that, you know, that's things have worked out a little bit better for them. Yeah, yeah. A friend of mine in New Zealand's got uh, two Ferraris and I went out in a um, drive of their Testarossa oh, yeah. um, a few years ago now. It's a beast, isn't it? it was an absolute beast. I think it's a V12, might be a V10. Yeah, V12. Yeah, V12. And, uh, it... No car steering. <laughs> no. And it absolutely... stiff, no, no visibility. It absolutely had the performance of the, yeah. of the Tesla, um, but it was, it was uh, oh, what do you call it, uh, visceral. Uh, yeah. You know, you, you could just feel the car shaking and vibrating and then roaring as it uh, dispensed the power and you took off at high speed. It was pretty extraordinary. Yeah. <clears throat> so we're heading along Lawrence Hargrave Drive, heading towards Stanwell, going to do a loop around, come back on the old Prince's Highway. Acceleration. That's extraordinary. Wow. Fortunately, there's someone there. Isn't it? Yeah. That's what I love about electric cars. It's, um, it's just that you're always in the right gear. You come out of corners, you just launch. <laughs> and there's none of that, um, that struggling to find the right gear or coming into a rev range and just suddenly taking off. It's just yeah. it's just there all the time. The, pa the power band is yeah. from, from zero yeah. all the way up. Yeah, it's, it's just amazing, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think a lot of people who've not driven an electric uh, an electric car really uh, just sort yeah. of appreciate what um, what they can do. It's not just that. It's I had a go at um I had a few goes at Formula Ford, Eastern Creek. Yeah. And you're always in the wrong gear. <laughs> you know, they also have these big sweeping bends where you're over the red line. You're in that soft 
um, soft red line limits. Yep. And you know you can go faster, but you don't dare change gear. You're already sliding. <laughs> uh, if you change gear, you'll spin. As simple as that. You know, yeah, yeah. Get away from it. <laughs> so, um, but if you're down, a, you know, if you're up a gear, then you wouldn't be fast enough. You know, coming out of it, you wouldn't have got to that speed in the first place. Yeah, yeah. You know, lots of corners, and that's why the race guys all have the gearboxes built for the racetrack. Yep. But um, but these things, always in the right gear. None yeah. of them mucking around. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I can't believe it. You were telling me you had a drive on a. Our model is played some time ago. Yeah, that was just frightening me fast. <laughs> it was um, 2.70 reckons all the 60 and yep. it really did feel stuck in the seat. Wow. Yeah. And it, I believe they've got, is it like a launch thing? I, I it's got a launch thing, yeah. So you put your foot on the brake and the accelerator, do you? Um, yeah, yep. and then as soon as you take off it just goes. Right, so you just so. drop the brake and it just goes. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's all completely free of traffic. Yeah. If you just pull out there, yeah. stop for one second, make sure it's all free, and then just floor it until you get to 100. Yep. And, and then obviously pull in and stop. Get ready. Okay, three, two, one. How'd that go? <laughs> May have got um just slightly below 100. What is it locked? Yeah, it does lock itself. Oh, okay. Well, that's no, that's fantastic. I'll just give you that. Thanks. Great. All right. Oh, well, we'll just leave the camera running yeah. and um, head down the Bolo Pass and back to back to Ruby's if you like. Right. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, um, let's take off here. Yep. Change gear. Just a reminder. It's a right hand store. Right. So you, you put on the brake. Yeah. Down is drive, uh, and up is reverse. And park is a little button on the end of the store. Um, but I'll, I'll make sure you're comfortable yeah. before you take off. Okay, the only thing you need to know about this is that it's, um, there's a button on the key, so you need to press that in uh, on the fob before you turn the key on. Okay. So that's um, okay. So that's just work to activate. It. All right. Well, let's make sure we have the okay with it before we yeah. end. Everything is reverse and park and drive. Yeah, and basically just. Which I kind of like. It's kind of obvious. So it's yeah, to the model, so <laughs> you can't really go wrong. Hidden. Yeah. <laughs> amazing. Collins allowed me to have a drive in his Tesla Roadster. So we're going to take it down Bullo Pass. Okay, we're all set. Let's rock. Oh. <laughs> oh. There we go. Steering is very sports-like, it's quite heavy, and my bum is about two inches off the ground. Considering this was like the very first of the Teslas, you know? Well, it just feels like a wreck.
Just before we have to hand this car back, we're doing the last 500 metres. This has been a joy to drive, it really has. What an extraordinary vehicle. And considering this was effectively 10 year old technology, it's just amazing. Got, um, some technology there. Mm. Yeah. <coughs> now we've actually got to get out. <coughs> oh, not quite so easy when you're my age. Oh. Admiring the construction of the hinge on the door. That's just amazing. So what, what's it got in the way of like trunk space or a front trunk or? Got a little space back here. Yeah. Oh, there is space in there, okay. There's the, um, there's the roof, soft top, and this is my charging kit, which is yeah. the cable and the, and the adapter. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had assumed this was all just battery, but yeah. I guess that's the, the battery, isn't it? Um, Basically. That's the um, controller, and that's the battery there. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. So, so this, is, this is all electronics? That's all the electronics. <laughs> Amazing. Power electronics. See you, Colin. <laughs> and he's gone.